Hello everyone, we are from Mary Marigold team. For this week's challenge, our team decided to complete the cold biome and desert biome challenges. After completing these two biomes challenges, we decided that we need to carefully and effectively allocate the coins to purchase the available resources to avoid situation that not enough coins to purchase water or fertilizer or bug remover at latter stage. The weather for both biome challenges are totally different, one is extremely cold the other is extremely hot. After testing of soil, we noticed that both biomes have low soil quality and also poor water retention. We applied almost same methods for both biomes. The first method we used was bought the drought tolerance seeds from the lab but we found out that we won't have enough coins to purchase resources like water or fertilizer or bug removers at stage 6 and 7. This method result in poor soil quality and also high water penalty, resulting in low total score. So we decided to change our strategic and use trial and error method to monitor the water level and soil quality. We only sprayed the water when the water level dropped below certain level. Same goes to spraying of fertilizer, we only purchased the fertilizer when the soil quality dropped to certain level also. But this was not finalized at first trial, we played for several times using method 2, failed and retried then only managed to get the water level and soil quality level that enable us to equally allocate the coins at each stages. We play for few times using the second method and each time we manage to get higher and higher score compared to the previous trials. Then we decided that we should combine method 2 at the same time assign the spraying of water and fertilizer job to each member. My sister was assigned to monitor the soil quality while I was in charge of monitoring the water level. We found out that the third method could make us obtain slightly higher score compared to method 2 and we played for several times using method 3 and got improved at each play. On both biomes, our team experienced the challenge to monitor the soil quality and water level at the same time. Sometimes, we are a bit chaotic when both water level and soil quality drop significantly at one time, ended up we were not sure what to be done first. Besides, we also encounter issue where command prompts or NPCs are not populating. So we tried to re-import the farmcraft file into Minecraft Education Edition, but still unable to resolve this issue. The issue only been resolved until we received latest email from NASP saying that, we need to adjust the Minecraft Education Edition's render distance to its maximum.